Hello YouTube family. This is your girl Marie with All Things Re. And I know it's been a while and I'm not making any promises because I feel like every time I make promises then something come up. But this is a little different. Um, my channel again is All Things Re. So I am, um, you know, bringing you guys into my life of things that I do um, or like to do. So, um... Shout out to my hubby. This we are coming up on our 20th year anniversary. Yay! I hope the lightning is good. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna. Turn on some more light. Give me a minute, guys. And girls. Ladies and gentlemen. I think that's a little better. It's kind of dark. So, um, all things read, and these are things that you know that I do. So, I we are coming up on our 20th year anniversary. I've uh, been together 27 years. We were together seven years before we get married. Got married. Um, so we're coming up on our 20th year anniversary, which is so exciting. So I decided to do all of my own uh, decorations. So it's a great task. I have about three weeks, a little under, about 20 days actually. Um, to finish them all and um, I hope to share a lot of the things that I made with you guys um, some things I'll go over with you that I've already done and then I'll be do a video on how to make um, some other things so make sure you subscribe you like and you share to everybody anybody your sister your brother cousin your uncle and your auntie what's going on over here on this channel and what i am going to say is i am going to try my best to um bring you guys content um more frequently so that's what i'm going to say <laughs> again every time i promise things um it does not go well all right so as you can see what's in front of you and i'm gonna bring this to the forefront this is a glass vase um, unfortunately, I don't remember where I got these from. Probably Dollar Tree. I believe I got them from Dollar Tree. And, um, I'll show you the end result after we finish what I'm going to actually put in that. So, I have some super exciting pieces, um, like this one. I'm just going to give y'all a preview. And then we have bottles. These are all Dollar Tree items. Um, except for the picture frame. And um, I'll tell you guys more about that. Another new venture that I'm doing. Um, so I'll tell you guys about that. So let me tell you what you need for this. You need. Um, put that in the back. You need one of these glass vases. You can look at your local Dollar Tree and see. Or Walmart. Um, you need. The decorative. Not a corot. Hope y'all can see that. Okay. You need pebbles or any type of like gravels in this Dollar Tree. And then a bag of shells. So $1, $2, $3, $4. And you need a high glue gun. High glue gun and you need scissors. And... Um, also a lighter and I'll show you why you need that all right now let me see how I'm gonna position this put that, put that over there I want it to be able so you guys can see everything all right so first off what we're gonna do is you know you always want to start off with a clean uh, glass or vase or boss so you always want to make sure that it's clean you can clean it afterwards for this uh, but you know it doesn't hurt to clean it first okay so clean vase and then first thing we're going to do is put the nautical rope so we're going to put the nautical rope um, on first And again, all of these things you can find at your local um, Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. Okay. Let me get stuff out 
it will rain. And I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven rows of the rope on this one. So if you want to know how many times I went around, it's about seven. And I think that was perfect. So what I do is determine um, whenever I'm doing these projects, it's, to me, it's always going to be an ugly side. So what I want to do is I want to determine that ugly side first. So um, there's really no imperfections on this last, so I'm just going to start here. Okay. So I start in the middle. And I put a dab of glue. And this kind of... Um, Sometimes, let me show y'all. Sometimes you get this. But I didn't pick out a good one. So it's kind of entwined a little. Um, have broken off a little bit. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Because I'll do something else with that. That I need less of. So I'm going to go ahead. So I want to cut the ugly piece off. And I have... Some rope. I'll just throw that to the side, and so I can start off with a clean plate. All right. So, um, you can use like um, do I have it? You can use E six thousand. Yep. I love this. You can use E six thousand um, if you want it to be permanent, but. Um, I'm trying to, I, some of you already know I already do treats and I'll be uploading a video for that too. Um, but, um, if you don't want it to be permanent, you want to use a high glue gun because E6000 is nobody's business. It's no joke. It holds, <laughs> I feel like forever. So, um, you will have a hard time if you can't even get it off. Okay. All right, let's get started. Put a little glue there. And sometimes this rope start try to unravel on you. So I just put a little glue on the rope itself. Because it's a dollar. So. So. I can see that. I'm going to get this position where you guys can. Really, really, really cute. Okay. And then I'm just going to go around. Um, I'm going to say I do it like every four inches. Meaning I put glue every four inches. Um, so, like it's here. Then I'll probably do it again here. Okay. And again, I'm trying to put this. Awkward space. Okay. Y'all forgive me. Okay. That's better, right guys? Okay. I'm gonna put some here. I just make a make enough that's about the size. I need to move that. Let's keep clinking, clinking, clinking together. And you don't need a whole lot. Just enough. <laughs> Y'all, I'm telling you, I can't stop hitting it. What is the daily yo? What is the daily yo? Alright, so when you get to that point where it's meeting up, I hope y'all can see this. Where it's meeting up with the other rope, what I do is go over that and start a new line, okay? This will be my ugly side, okay? And it doesn't necessarily, you can put something to cover it up, what have you, like we have the shell. But, um, I would personally make this my ugly side, the, which is the back side. Okay. 
So let's proceed. Now as you see I am putting my glue uh, horizontal. As At first I was doing it vertical. It doesn't matter but to me it's just more effective. And then I am squeezing them together because I really don't want to have spaces in between. Just keep going around and keep going around. It really does not take a long time to do this at all. Okay. And it saves you a lot of money. I mean, some of these things go for maybe fifteen to thirty dollars. Um, in the stores. So if you can do these DIY projects yourself and save a ton of money, then why not? And it's so much fun if you like crafting like I do. And again, you just want to make sure you keep it close. Just pressing it together and again everything here was a dollar so how cool is that I have so many other projects um, that I want to show you guys that I did so, again, make sure you stay tuned so you can see the other projects. Now, I'm running out of, uh, give me one minute, I'm running out of, you run out of, uh, glue pretty quickly. So, you always want to have some, and, um, and I got this glue gun. I have several. I got that one from Walmart for about three dollars, and these ten mini size sticks for about a dollar ninety-seven cents, I believe. So I'm just gonna push that. Well, it's not ready yet. I felt like it was running out, but it's not not yet. Again, remember to always push down. You really don't want any spaces. I can see where that's kind of wavy. Um, I probably could have cut it and just started off new. And that would fix that. So, um, if you want to do that, you can. Because I don't believe my other one is wavy like that. It has that wavy effect. But again, this is my ugly side. But I think you can prevent that if you just cut it off where it meets the other one. And um, start off fresh. really get a lot of this uh, um, rope and now uh, let's see I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys something Oops, hold on. what I'm gonna do because I'm running to the end and I don't want to show a bad um I don't want it to have to start a new one um in the front my good side so what I'm gonna do is cut that again here 
just like the other side and start the other one in the back so let's go ahead and um cut that I need to get my other side okay then we're gonna go ahead and glue that also when you're using this rope you can kind of want to take a twisting motion to the way the rope is going to keep the rope also tight. Okay. So let's see how many rows. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we only need one more um, line if you want to be even. So we're going to go ahead and start off and use that part that we um, cut off because it had an ugly piece on it. But we're going to use a good piece. Come on, glue clan. Come on, baby. Okay. And you go around and around and around. Kind of clean it up as you go. I'll show you some other things I do to clean up. That's what you need your lighter for, and I'll show you. Okay. Alright, so we're going to. I'm going to cut that. Cut that off. Get rid of that. Now what I mean by keeping it tight, you want to turn it the way that it's going. Now I could lay that there, but I'm going to lay it here. Again, no one is going to see that. So. And you can get alcohol to help you clean up if you get glue on your... Normally, you can just rub it off. Alright. So, there we go. There we go. There we go. Alright. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to use our lighter. And just be careful. Um, remember with the light you want to keep it moving. Because if you keep it in one place it's going to burn it. So what you want to do is just wand over it. And this is to uh, burn off those little pieces that's sticking out. Just be very careful with it. Okay. So even though it's not ugly side, I still try to clean it up as much as I can. Okay. Alright, I think that's good enough. Some of you can just pick. So that's pretty sturdy. So now what we're going to do is uh, get a seashell. And that's pretty. I try to find different ones. So that's kind of different than that one. And um, so you, you want to make sure you find the place where you want it. So again, this is our front. And basically, it's just going to touch the bottom when you, on here because these flaps out. So it's just going to touch the bottom and the top. So you really only need to put glue at the top. Oops, see I got it on that glass. Top and the bottom. Okay. 
Okay. And see, this is what I'm talking about. Just, just rub it and it'll rub right off. So how cute is that? So we got that. Then we're going to take. So as of now, you're finished with the blue side. Um, I'm going to put all that trash away. I'm going to try to keep a clean surface because crafting can get messy, but if you clean as you go, the little um, wipes from the Dollar Tree, the disinfection, disinfecting wipes works well. So, alright, so, so we're going to use the um, pebbles. And they have different colors. Um, this is going to go with my color scheme. And I'm running out of time. I have seven minutes, guys. God, time go back fast, guys. Alright, so. You just pour that in. How cute is that, guys? And as you can see, I did this one a little better. Um, you don't, I don't have that. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to actually pour that off and, um, and just stop it there. Because I don't know. I just don't like it like that. So anywho. Um, yeah. But it's okay. It's still cute. So alright. So now... What we have to do is, I also purchased, and I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys this. Um, I purchased, give me one minute guys. I didn't have this out. I purchased, hopefully she put it in the bag. Okay, finally. Okay. Let me show you this first. Um, the craft section. Excuse me. They had these little gems. So I'm going to do some things with this. So you guys will see another video with this. That looks absolutely so cute. And so I'm going to see how those work. Um, but they have these little lights. So that's another dollar. It's 240 total hours. So each will go for 120 hours light so I mean your event is not that long um, but they are LED tea light candles so let's see how this look um, I really didn't want of course put real candles in it because of the wax so I said well let's try these and be careful because sometimes they don't work <laughs> so I mean it's a dollar and what I want to do is kind of, and it's turning it off on me. Let's see. So let me make a little tunnel to make it easier on it. As you can see, it's turning on and off. And you probably could take some tape. Because what ha what's happening is the switch is um it's moving. So you probably could take some scotch tape to keep the switch from moving. And it's still going off. So that's why I say you may want in something like this, probably want to invest in let me try the other one probably want to invest in some more expensive lights but just to give you an idea I'm 
pretty that is. So, just because of this experience, I definitely am going to probably purchase, probably, you know, some Walmart brand ones. They're not that expensive. And, um... But there you have it. And so, a dollar for um, for each vase. So, that's $2. Um, the lights were a dollar. Um, so, two, three. The pebbles. Four, five. The rope. Six, seven. And then eight for the shell, bag of shells. So, about eight bucks. And how cool is that? Beautiful, right? So it's a great touch for a beach theme wedding. And um, again, you guys, please like, subscribe, share. Give me a thumbs up, please. I need thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. And um, I'm going to keep them coming. You guys, see, we're actually, it's going to hopefully go through with me the whole collection that I'm doing for my wedding anniversary, my 20th wedding anniversary and you can use these things for anything any type of party or event you're having if it's a beach thing or just change it into something to you know what you want it to be but just be creative um my father i have like two minutes guys my father was an artist and he that's what he did for a living um and had a very great living for himself um but the most important thing is he did what he loved and um i'm learning that in my years that you know, you have to do what you love. So, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Please tell everybody what's going on, on on this channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for even watching my videos. I really appreciate you guys. You have a blessed day. Bye.